Hi, I'm Dave Schwartz. I'm the Horse Handicapping Authority. Today's topic is the mathematics of horse racing. And this is an introduction. There'll be more to come after this episode. So, in the next 10 minutes or less, I'm going to improve your game. Let's begin our discussion today with dollar net. Now dollar net is the average return for each two dollars invested. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you made a hundred bets of two dollars each. Therefore, you're in two hundred dollars. Imagine that you won 30 of those bets and that the average mutual was $8. So you get 30 wins times $8. Now that equals $240. If you divide 240 by your 100 bets, you get a dollar net of two dollars and forty cents. In other words, for every two dollars you wager, you get back two forty. If you only had sixty bets, same scenario, two dollars each, that's a hundred and twenty dollars. It becomes a little more tricky. So, 30 wins at $8. Now you see you're winning 50%. That's $240. So you divide 240 by 60 and you get a $4 net. It's as simple as that. If you're flat betting, but what if you don't wager the same amount on each horse? Well, in that case, you take the total amount wagered, imagine that you wagered $200, and imagine, this is the amount you bet, and imagine that you returned, let's say $180. So this might be spread over 10 bets, 100 bets, 50 bets, and they might be all different amounts. If you divide 180 by 200 and then multiply by 2, you get the dollar net. So 180 divided by 2, 100, is going to be 90 cents times 2 is 180. That's how you do a calculation if you're not betting flat. That is the same amount in each race. Another term you're going to hear in horse racing is ROI or return on investment. The reason that I use dollar net over ROI is because there's a little confusion here. For example, imagine I bet a hundred dollars and I got back a hundred and ten dollars. So the ROI is this number divided by this number minus this number. In other words, I see this as a plus ten percent ROI. But some people don't do the math that way. They see it instead as this number divided by this number. They see it as 110. So you see, so if I said I had a 
20% ROI, to me that's a very good, good thing, or a 0.2 ROI. But some people would see that as an 80% loser, where 1.0 is break even. So there are two different ways to look at it, and that's why I will always use dollar net in my calculations. Next up is optimum bet, or the Kelly criterion. And the way this works, optimum bet is that percentage of your bankroll that will lead to the greatest growth. In other words, if you bet less money or more money, you actually wind up with less return in the long run. That is, less profit. It's all about growth. Let me give you a specific example. If, if, first of all, if we know our hit rate, and we know our return per wager, then we can compute our advantage. An optimum bet is nothing but advantage divided by odds. I used the term, so far in our little seminar, I've used the term ROI and I've used dollar net. Well, advantage is the percentage of profit. Always. It's really as I view ROI, but not everyone sees it as the same definition. Imagine that you wagered $200 and imagine that you returned $240. That results in a profit of $40. If you divide the profit by the amount bet, so that 40 divided by 200 equals 20% that is your advantage. So optimum bet is nothing but, now you need the average odds in order to compute the optimum bet. We have our profit percentage. So if we found, for example, that this represented 100 bets, and this was the return, 30 winners at $8, well, $8 means 3 to 1 odds. So if we take our 20% and divide it by 3 to 1, we get approximately almost 7%. So the ROI then, it's actually 6 and 2 thirds percent. And that's optimum bet. Nothing but advantage, advantage percentage divided by average odds is optimum bet. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I hope it improves your handicapping. If you'd like some more help with your handicapping, come join me at my website www.thehorsehandicappingauthority.com Horse Handicapping Authority, that's me, Dave Schwartz. Come there, sign up for free, and you'll find lots of free stuff. We're adding more all the time. Bye now.